Hello everyone, welcome to Coding with Ivan. And in our playlist called Make Your First Android App, we made this Dice Roller application where if the user clicks on this toss button, it generates a random number between 1 to 6 and it shows that a particular image for that number inside this image view. Alright, so later on that playlist, when I showed you how to upload the app on Play Store, I made some changes for this application and our app looked like something like this. So here I changed the background and the layout of our views and then I added some animations to the image view like this. So if the user clicks on the toss button, it shows an animation and then it shows the random number. Alright, so now in this video I will show you how I made these changes as some of you commented and texted me on my social media about making a video on these changes. So let's get started. So at first as you can see we have to get rid of this status bar and the action bar from our application. So for this I have to go to our themes.xml file first. So our, our themes.xml file is here right under the rest folder inside the values inside the themes will get the themes.xml file. So I'll go right here and from here I'll change the action bar type from dark action bar to no action bar. So that will remove the default action bar of our application and then we also need to get rid of the status bar. So for this I'll open my main activity.java here and then I'll go up here inside this on create method and I'll go just above the set content view and here I'll write request window feature and here I'll pass window dot feature no title this one alright and then in the next line I'll write this dot get window dot set flags and inside the parameter of the set flags I'll write window manager dot layout params dot flag full screen this one okay then for the second parameter I'll just copy this and paste it so copy this and paste it here as the second parameter all right so that will remove the status bar of our application and then we'll change the views of our main activity so for this I'll go into the activity main dot xml file and here if we go to the split view let me zoom in here all right so here at first i'll delete this orientation from here because i'm going to change the layout from linear layout to a relative layout all right and i'll also remove this gravity from here and then for the background of our application i'll be using a custom image this one I have already prepared that and I'll also give the download link of this image file in the description. So I'll just copy this and go back to the Android Studio and I'll paste it inside the drawable folder. Alright, so here is our background.png file. So here at first I passed the background as color white. So here I'll just remove this and write at the rate drawable slash background okay and now let's fix the alignments of these views so at first I'll go inside the text view here the ID is score text and width and height okay layout margin top is 16 dp text alignment is center let's make this to text end text color let's change this to white and let's attach this to the top of the layout so that it always says to the top of the uh, screen so here I'll write align sorry align parent top to true all right so that's it for our text view now under this we have this image view here but we'll go to this later before that we'll work on our button so here the ID is button toss the width and height will be same as match parent and wrap content margin start 24 dp and 24 dp alignment center okay text equals toss text color color white uh, let's make this black now okay and let's change the 
color of our button so for this i'll write background tint and here i'll pass at the red color white so that will change the background of our button and then let's attach this button to the bottom of the screen so for this i'll write align parent to bottom and i'll pass true here and then let's also add some margin to the bottom because it's not looking that much good so i'll write margin bottom and here i'll pass uh, let's pass 24 dp here all right so that looks nice so now let's place this image in between this text view and button so for this i'll go above here insert this image view tag and at first i'll set this image view to below this text view the text score so for this i'll write uh, layout below and here we have to pass the id of that text view so the text views id was a score text just copy this and paste it here and then we have to also set the image above this button but if we do that as you can see if i write above id and i'll pass the button toss here if i do that so it doesn't look that good here because it shrinks this image view so in order to do that i'll add a new linear layout here linear layout let's set the width as match parent and the height as wrap content here and then inside this linear layout we will uh, copy our image view here so I'll just copy this and i'll paste it inside this linear layout all right and we'll set this layout below and above inside this linear layout so i'll just copy them and i'll paste them here inside this linear layout tag okay and then we'll set the gravity for our linear layout so i'll write gravity to center okay so that fits perfectly here now we need to add the color filter for our image view as you saw in our application that i uploaded on play store we have these white images so for this we have to just write inside this image view tag tint equals at the red color white okay and it's showing an error because maybe we need to add set in color white okay let's click on that okay all right the tint color white and the tint mode is src in okay so now our application is ready so let's try to run this once pixel 3a let's run this okay so this is our application we can click on this toss button okay but here our default action bar is still showing so let's see what is the issue here so as you can see inside the themes folder we changed this to no action bar but we have also another themes.xml file for the api version 27 so if i click here here we have still we have the dark action bar so let's change this to no action bar here and then let's try this all right as you can see our action bar is now gone so if we click on this toss button it shows this text view here with the random number and this is the image view okay you can also add some paddings to this text view like if we go to the activity main insert this text view if i add margin to the end of let's say 14 dp and then if we run this and then click on toss so now it has some margin to the end of this text view okay so let's go back to our code here and still we need to add the animation to our image view so for this we have to go to our main activity.java here and here we have to add our code inside this on click method of the button 
so at first to show the animation let's create a separate function or method for that so i'll go outside of this on create here public void start animation and here in the method body i'll take an object of our object animator class so i'll call the object animator class here object animator i'll create an object called animator equals object animator dot offload and here in the parameter of offload at first we have to pass the image view where we want to show the animation so i'll pass the image view here so i'll pass image view and then for the second parameter we need to pass the animation style or the animation name so in this case i passed the animation called rotation sorry rotation okay and then for the third parameter i'll pass the starting position and the ending position so as we i want to uh, rotate our image a full 360 degree so i'll write from 0 f to 360 f all right let's put a semicolon at the end okay so i'll try to put a link of a documentation of this class so that you can visit there and see the other animation types okay so after that i'll write the duration of our animation so i'll write uh, animator dot set duration and here i'll pass 1000 because i want to show the animation for one second so i am passing 1000 milliseconds here if you want to show your animation for two seconds you can write 2000 here okay and one more thing if you are unable to found this image view here so that you have to declare the image view globally up here if you declare this in the on create method then you are probably not going to get this on this uh, method here all right so after that uh, i'll set the animator set here so i'll write animator set and i'll create an object called animator set equals new animator set and then i'll attach this animation to our animator set so here i'll write animator set sorry animator set dot play together play together and here i'll pass the animator that we created here so i'll pass the animator here okay and then we'll start our animator set so i'll write animator set dot start okay so now we'll start our animation or call this animation method inside this on click method but before that i want to create a new thread here so that every time the user clicks on this button it will wait for one second and run this thread to show the changes to the user so for this i have to go above here inside uh, or after this score variable so here i'll write start animation that we created and whenever we'll call the start animation it will start the animation and the animation will run for one second and in this one second we'll keep our ui uh, freeze so for this we'll create a new thread so let's create that i'll create a new handler here so final handler let's call this handler equals new handler and here i'll pass looper dot get main looper here okay and then in the next line i'll write handler dot post delayed this one and here i'll pass a new runnable so i'll write new runnable and here we got this void run method so here it's showing an error that is because after this we have to pass the duration of this animation so i'll pass 1000 because we want to um, freeze or start the thread after 1000 milliseconds and there i'll add a semicolon okay so inside the run method whatever will add that will run after one second so here i'll just pass the set text method or the set text 
line here and then I'll copy the switch case also inside this run method okay so now whenever the user will click on the button it will start the animation and the animation win will run for one second and in that one second our UI will uh, stay freezed and after one second we'll show the random number inside this text view and we'll also load the image for that particular random number so now let's try to run our application to see the changes so i'll click here okay our app is now installed if we click on this toss button here it showed the animation and after one second our random number is showed here all right so these are the changes that i made in the dye solar application while uploading on play store so thank you so much for watching